World Trade Organization Ministerial Conference of 2005, given the police's experience in dealing with previous riots, such as those involving Vietnamese refugees in the 1990s, Mr. Lee said the Hong Kong police force should be able to handle any protests. The K2L group promised to the Hong Kong People's Alliance on WTO that they will adhere to protest perimeters and refrain from drinking alcohol in public. However, later, they engaged in violent and non-peaceful acts of protests during their duration in Hong Kong. The police continued to dispel Korean protesters with pepper spray, while the protesters wore sparks, hats, goggles, and even plastic wrap to defend against the spray. 900 protesters, including 730 men and 180 women, are still under detention on Gloucester Road. He indicated that the protesters will be charged according to Hong Kong law. For a complete story of Mexic's resistance that happened on 17 December in Hong Kong and its vicinity, visit Tarjikto. Early in 11 am, some protesters gathered around Kwantung police station and protested for a fair and open judgment of the arrested protesters. At night, 188 protesters, mostly Korean female protesters, were released, but still many protesters were in Kwantung police station and court. Bishop Zen visited the protesters at 11 am and openly criticized the action of the police as the shame of Hong Kong because he was not allowed to visit the Roman Catholics detained by the police. On 9 January 2006, the 11 Korean protesters previously arrested, along with 300 other people including three Korean National Assembly members, protested to demand their immediate release. 3 by to 49 million, 429,445, 